So the Los Angeles Lakers have had a pretty busy offseason to start as they made some huge signings with Montrezl Harrell and Wesley Matthews, while also making a trade for Dennis Schroeder. Now, they'll be looking to fill out the rest of their roster with some solid bench pieces, and I think one player who can do just that is Nick Batum. I know a lot of people think he's washed up because he had some poor seasons with the Hornets over the past few years, but I think that's largely been due to injuries and I think a lack of motivation playing on a losing team. But with the Lakers, he's finally healthy and he'll be playing for a championship level team, and I think he'll be motivated to play well and redeem himself. And this is somewhat almost like in a Dwight Howard-like comeback. So let's go over how Nick Batum would fit with the Lakers if he does in fact sign there, and what kind of role he would play on the team. And very quickly before we get into it, if you want to see more interesting NBA content just like this, be sure to drop a like and subscribe, as I really appreciate all your guys' support. So Nick Batum is only 31 years old, as crazy as that sounds, since it feels like he's been in the NBA for much longer than that. He still has a lot left in the tank, as while he may not be as athletic as he once was, he's still a very good passer, rebounder, and defender. On offense, he can play a point forward role at times, as he has good vision and feel to create for others. He's definitely not a point guard though, but he's solid as a secondary playmaker, who gives the Lakers another solid passer in the offense. He's not very quick or athletic anymore, so he's not the best finisher at the rim like he used to be, but he could still be useful as a 3 point shooter if he can get his percentages back up to like what they were earlier in his career. Even if he just gets his career average of about 35.7% from downtown, that would be great in helping to help spread the floor for the Lakers. And I think this is definitely possible as with the Hornets, I think a big part of the struggles with his shooting was being one of the main options and having opponents top defenders on him, but with the Lakers, the majority of the defensive attention will be focused on LeBron and AD. So he would have a lot more room to shoot and get a lot better looks to hit a better percentage from downtown. If he can do that, he would be a solid offensive piece off the bench that can do a little bit of everything for LA. On defense, he's a very long wing with the size to guard both guards, other wings, and even some bigs as well. This is what made him such a versatile defensive player in the past, and like I said before, while he's definitely not as fast or as athletic as he once was, he still has very good length and strong defensive fundamentals. He can provide some versatility here for the Lakers on D, and his positive 0.9 dBPM from the last season proves he can still do just that. Overall, I think signing Batum to a one-year deal is a low-risk move that can pay off huge dividends for the Lakers. He's likely looking to prove himself and play for a contender now that he's a free agent and healthy, and I think he's going to have a bounce back season in the right role. He would provide the Lakers with a versatile offensive option and defensive player off the bench, and signing him to a non-guaranteed deal can be great if, say, he doesn't pan out, the Lakers can simply just waive him. We'll see what happens, but I think this will be a solid move for the Lakers they should definitely consider. So that's a wrap, thank you guys all for watching, if you guys did enjoy this video and want to see more daily NBA content just like this. Be sure to drop a like and subscribe and also be sure to turn on post notifications so you can stay updated on when this video will be coming out. Also be sure to follow me on Instagram and hit me up if you want to talk about basketball or business. Just drop a comment down below my photo or DM me and I'll definitely try to get back to most of you guys there. Drop a comment down below on how you think Nick Batum would fit with the Lakers, do you think they should sign him or not? Let me know as I do our comments, I'm definitely interested to see what you guys have to say here as well. So without that being said, once again thank you guys all for watching and hopefully I'll see y'all soon for next video. Peace.